In an unprecedented move, LG Display has outpaced Samsung Display in the race to supply OLED panels for the upcoming iPhone 16 Pro Max. This is a game changer in the tech world. And here's why. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video informative and subscribe to stay updated and leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. LG Display also gets approval to supply OLED for iPhone 16 Pro Max and will have bigger camera bumps. Welcome to our channel, tech enthusiasts. Today, we've got some exciting news that's shaking up the smartphone industry. For the first time ever, LG Display has received the green light from Apple to supply OLED panels for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, even before Samsung Display. Just last month, both LG Display and Samsung Display were approved to supply OLED panels for the iPhone 16 Pro. But here's the twist. Despite LG Display's lower OLED production capacity compared to Samsung Display, their timely approval from Apple is set to close the gap between the two tech giants. This is a stark contrast to LG Display's performance last year when it consistently missed the opportunity to supply the initial stock of iPhones. This delay allowed Samsung Display to secure the majority of the initial orders for the iPhone 15 Pro models, significantly boosting its profit margin. LG Display is currently manufacturing OLED panels for iPhones at its E61, E62, and E63 lines. They're also supplying OLED panels for Apple's iPad Pros through their E64 line. With more orders than expected, it will be a challenge for LG Display to switch the E64 line to manufacture OLED panels for iPhones, even if Apple's OLED panel orders for the iPhone 16 Pro models increase. LG Display's recent timely approvals could be a strategic move by Apple to weaken Samsung Display's position as the dominant OLED panel supplier. Interestingly, the OLED panels for iPhone 16 have minimal changes compared to iPhone 15. However, Samsung Display will continue to supply OLED panels for the other iPhone 16 models, while LG Display will exclusively supply for the Pro models. Now, let's talk about the new camera design. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are set to sport bigger camera bumps, according to prominent tipster Ice Universe, the camera bump will be raised by 3.9 mm, a noticeable difference that could be a double-edged sword. While some users might find the bigger bump annoying, it's usually a sign of improved camera hardware. The iPhone 16 Pro in particular is getting a significant upgrade. The Tetra Prism lens that was previously exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max this means the iPhone 16 Pro will no longer be limited to a regular telephoto camera. This could be part of the reason why Apple decided to make the phone bigger this time around. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro. Max will feature larger displays measuring 6.3 and 6.9 inches respectively. That's a 0.2 inch increase compared to the current models. Interestingly, the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus are expected to retain the same display sizes as their predecessors. So there you have it, folks. The tech world is buzzing with these latest developments. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech news and reviews. Until next time, keep innovating. Peace out.